Hi guys, I hope you're all well and I hope you're all right. If you want to see how I create this remembrance glam and paint, then keep on watching. So today, as you've just seen, we are going to be doing a little ode to remembrance day. I feel like it is a very important day and I haven't got the biggest platform, so there's much more that I wish I could do, but I can't. So I am just going to do what I do best and try and create something that just maybe even raises a little bit of awareness. So let's go. So today we're just going to ignore the eyebrows and we're going to just put the P. Louise base quite big. We're going to be doing some crazy makeup today, which is my fave. Get it all on there. This is probably the biggest eyeshadow look I have ever done, but if there's ever time to do it, it's when it's... Well, it's now, isn't it? <laughs> 2020 is the reason for everyone's craziness to come out, I think. It's bizarre because I feel like even though the arts has pretty much been cancelled this year, don't you just think everybody's artistic side has come out like so much more? Fireworks. For reals. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell Turtle Power We're just going to keep dab dab dabbing until it goes tacky God I need to get a grip and get out more No wait, I can't So I'm just going to take the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I love red. As you can tell. So we're just going to go in. <laughs> God knows how this is going to turn out. Let's just hope for well. <laughs> just going to plop it on any old way and then we will neaten it up afterwards. Teenage million ninja turtles. Popping on a bit of face paint just to try and get that a bit more red because it's quite orangey, but I'll have to imagine it's red because I don't really have any red eyeshadow. <laughs> so we're going to get a darker red and start to create something that looks a bit like eyeshadow. <laughs> Look like a phoenix. Amazonian glam. <laughs> Rise like a phoenix and all that jazz. I'm going to take some black and darken it even more. I don't like that black. Well, I do, but it's not like that. I'm now going to take the Morphe 18A palette, which has got a sparkly black in it, which I wish was matte, but I'll never complain at glitter. <laughs> I'm trying to use the mirror behind today rather than like constantly like that. So let me know which you prefer. I'm just going to pop a little bit of brown mascara onto my eyebrows just because I think I quite like the spiky, fierce kind of vibe. I don't want to put a lot on though because I don't want to, I don't really want them to be like the main, the focus. Just drawn on my eyeball. Not fun. <laughs> I wish a crazy, crazy eyeshadow was normal. I would love to go out of the house like this. I don't know, I'm, like, I'm quite feeling it. I'm just drawing on my eyeball again. I'll take some concealer and cut out a big crease because I still want that kind of little bit of ode to glamour in there. I feel like I'm using that word a lot. I don't ever say that word. Pop 
dropping a bit of white highlighter on to set it before I decide what colour I'm going to go in with. Then I'm going to pop on a red line over the top of that. Hmm. I think I'm going to pop one from here as well to go join it. I'm going to pop on some mascara. I've got glitter in my eye. Then I'm just going to pop a little bit of black eyeliner on so that when I put my eyelashes on it, connects. So that is the eyes. Done, except eyelashes, but I will do that later on. So now I'm going to pop on some foundation. God, this is going to be tricky. And I'm not going to take it down my neck today because we will be doing something down here later on. I'm acting like it's a surprise but you've already seen it so it's not actually a surprise. Oh well. <laughs> it's a surprise to me because I don't know what it's going to look like yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to take that brush we used earlier to blend out the red now to blend that foundation back into the red a little bit more. Cool cool. You can still see me under eye bags now. I want to blooming paint it over. I can't conceal them now. So I'll just apply concealer to the little areas we've got left. <laughs> then I'm going to take this brush today to do my contouring because I feel like because there's not very much room there, I don't really want to take a big brush. I want to take one that's going to be a bit more precise so we don't ruin what we've already got. And then we're going to pop up some highlighter. The best part of makeup. I'm going to do it with that brush that I've used to blend out the red because then I feel like it might, I don't have a red highlighter, but I feel like it might kind of tie it in with it a little bit. Oh, it won't work at all, but we'll see. <laughs> a bit more little bit of red down here just to try and yeah I like that then we're gonna add on some lipstick so we're of course gonna add on a red this is just a little Rimmel London one the ones where you've got the Vaseline at the other side because they are very drying So normally I would do a nude lip if I doing some crazy, crazy eye, but it's all about the red today. Just popping a darker, I know it looks silly, but a bit eyeshadow in the corner, but it'll create that lip contour. And I'm going to hop on the Vaseline side and use that to blend out the dark a bit, a bit more. So we are now going to paint the chest white <laughs> if i have luke's coming to you for all it's all <laughs> i am just absolutely here for this this might be one of my favorite eye looks i've ever done good time babies right, let's create my chin strap oh this white's gone pink a little powder after i'm going to make the white bit gray anyway really after so hopefully that'll fix the pinkness So I've had to switch from mum's phone because mine's run out of storage again, but we're still painting the chest white. <laughs> I hadn't been watching it because I always have to watch it to see if it's running out and I haven't been watching it and I just saw that it won't film and I thought, oh, no, if I've missed everything, I was just going to cry. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't.
So now that we have the white here, we're going to paint some black here. We're running low. It's really hard to find that balance with like water activated paints because the more water you use, like the lighter the colour is, but then obviously the less you use, it's just dry and you can't use it. Oh, it's horrible sneeze when you're doing your makeup. You have to pull the weirdest faces to try and not smudge it. So I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow to pat over that to try and darken it a little bit and dry it. Right, so I'm just going to take that brush I've just used because it's a, a flat one to try and create a grass effect. I can't see what I'm doing. I need a mirror. So I'm just literally tap tap tapping it on. Can you see that? Mm. I hope so. Watch it on the big screen. <laughs> Get some in different directions as well. Some long, some short, you know. All grass is not the same. It's 2020. That grass will grow and it wants to go. Grow, go. I don't know. So we have a little grassy hill. So now we're going to take a smaller brush and back into the black and paint the little grave at the top of the hill. I'm just going to take the little brush as well to create a few little like sprouts of more grass. Bushes we'll say. Just by doing little wiggly wigglies. There we go. So now we're going to paint the soldier. And I thought it's going to be really difficult because while I do, I think like face paint is my best thing I can do. I don't think I've ever drawn a human in my life. My nana used to try and teach me all the time and mm, Lord knows I could not. So let's all say a moment and hope this goes okay. Right, so we'll start with the legs. Oh God, I'm scared. I need a mirror for this, sorry. Right, can you still see if I do that? Yeah. So. You like legs? Let's hope so. I'm proper shaking. He's got one little skinny leg, hasn't he? Need to make that leg a bit bigger. That looks really fat. Now he's a chunky soldier. I'm going to draw his gun. Now a head. And a helmet. I mean, it's not the greatest looking thing, but got the idea there that's all that matters like his head needs to be a little bit bigger and there are worse so now we need to create some clouds so I'm just gonna take a eyeshadow brush and hope that this works and dip it in some black and just do some little dab dab dabbing So now we're going to attempt some poppies, or a poppy, and we'll see how it goes. I want to actually put on a little feature. Now he's got his little poppy on. So I'm going to create some shapage down here. At each side. Right, I'm going to take that eyeshadow brush. I wonder if I could use that lipstick. So that's really good. So we have the red on. Now we need some little green bits on. And of course we need to add the black in the middle. Time to add in some little detailies. 
and there we have it. My Remembrance Day glam and painted. I'm quite impressed with how this turned out and I love the eyes. Thank you all so much for watching, especially if you've watched all the way to the end. And if there's anything you've taken from this video, it is please, please, please go find a charity and donate. It's a very important day to remember those who did so much for us that we'll never be able to repay that. And I hope you all had your minute silence, even this loud mouth did. I'm so sorry it's a day late, but I've just had a crazy week. A two year old is hard to film around, but we've got there and it's better a day late than not at all. And I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching and don't forget we're trying to get to 100 subscribers so don't forget to subscribe it's free and if you don't have an account all you have to do is put your email in and create a password that is it and maybe tick a box saying I agree but yeah I've got loads of colour my teeth again haven't I anyway love to you all Mwah. peace out